President Trump fires FBI Director James Comey, citing a lack of confidence Comey, uh, that Comey could still lead the FBI. And this comes after the FBI had to issue a statement correcting testimony that Comey made to Congress just last week about how many emails Hillary aide Uma Abedin afforded to her husband. Just listen to this. They found thousands of new emails. They found classified information on Anthony Weiner. Somehow, her emails are being forwarded to Anthony Weiner, including classified information by her assistant, Huma Abedin. She forwarded hundreds and thousands of emails, some of which contain classified information. Joining us now, Alberto Gonzalez, former attorney general under George W. Bush and dean of law at Belmont University, also author of True Faith and Allegiance. Attorney, uh, Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez, thanks for joining us. Uh, what, are your, what are your initial thoughts uh, about this? Because it's 24 hours ago, I think everyone in Washington felt Comey was doing an awful job, and now today is the worst <laughs> scandal since, uh, uh, since, the, the, since the Nixon era. Well, you know, I think Jim is a, a dedicated uh, public servant, and um, uh, I honor his sacrifice. Uh, obviously, during the past year, there have been several actions and statements made by uh, Director Comey that have called into question his ability to effectively lead the, the, the bureau. And, and so there are people on both sides of the aisle who believe that, that, that a change should, have, should be made. Uh, obviously, yesterday, I think, came as a surprise. And I think most of the questioning is based upon the timing. Why, why now and why not earlier? Uh, is, it, was it, is it possible to, that it's be, to interfere or stop an ongoing investigation? And obviously, those are fair, very serious allegations. And if, it, if true, then the removal would have been improper, but I, I think there are a number of reasons why the president may have lost confidence based upon the, 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 uh, the recommendation right. of the deputy attorney general and the attorney general well, of the Department of Justice. Well, do you have faith in the intelligence community, particularly the men and women at the FBI who are already involved in any uh, investigations to continue doing it? Do you think they can be dissuaded or even uh, ordered not to, to stop by a new FBI director? Absolutely not. I think this, we should, this should be reassuring to the American people. We're going to find out if, in fact, there was any kind of collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russian government. Either the FBI is going to find it out, the Congress is going to find it out, or the American media is going to find out. Uh, this re really raises the stakes in terms of trying to find out what actually happened here. So if the purpose of the firing was to stop an investigation, it's going to backfire. I think, even, I, even, I think today people are more determined uh, than ever to try to find out if, in fact, it was any kind of collusion whatsoever. You know, back in World War II, there's an old saying, loose lips sink ships. Uh, certainly, uh, Comey should have paid attention to that because no matter what you think about the timing, I thought Rosenstein's comments about uh, when he tried to explain the letter of October 28th, and, and he said that he used the word conceal. Uh, and and R Rosenstein once pointed out that conceal is a loaded term and that it was actually uh, misstated with this particular issue. It just felt like every time he opened the, his mouth, on this, uh, that not only did he lose credibility for himself, but also for, for the FBI. Well, he was certainly much more public uh, in terms of appearance and statements than you've seen other uh, previous FBI directors. As a general matter, you want the FBI to sort of be under, you know, run, uh, running behind the scenes, doing an investigation quietly, not making an announcement other than perhaps an, we've begun an investigation or we've closed the investigation or completed our investigation. But beyond that, there's very little said with respect to an ongoing investigation by the FBI, and that is to preserve the integrity of the investigation. Uh, and so, the, again, there are many reasons why I think pe some people, uh, people on both sides of the aisle lost confidence right. in Director Comey, who, again, as I said, is a talented individual, and I honor his sacrifices. But, uh, I, again, he's lost the confidence of many people in this country. Alberto Gonzalez, thank you very much. Really appreciate it.